Katherine Johnson, the hidden genius who helped launch America into space. She wasn't famous. She wasn't loud. She was a black woman working in a white, male-dominated field during the peak of segregation. But her math sent astronauts into orbit. Her calculations brought them home. And her story reminds us all that quiet excellence can move the universe. Katherine Johnson didn't just do her job, she redefined what it meant to be a hero. Who was Katherine Johnson? Born in 1918 in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Katherine Johnson showed a gift for numbers at an early age. She was in high school by 10, college by 15. But brilliance wasn't enough in a world where both her race and her gender tried to box her in. Still, she pressed forward. She joined NASA's predecessor, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA, as a computer, a human calculator. When the space race began, Catherine became part of the team that calculated trajectories, flight paths, and re-entry windows for missions that would make history. She helped send Alan Shepard, the first American in space, into orbit. She was essential to John Glenn's mission. He personally requested she check the machine's numbers by hand. She worked on the Apollo 11 mission that put a man on the moon. And she did it all while battling racism, sexism, and invisibility, without bitterness, without excuses. What can you learn from Katherine Johnson? Katherine Johnson's life isn't just about math. It's about unshakable excellence, moral strength, and the courage to do great things, even when no one's watching. Here's how her legacy can shape your life. 1. Be so good, they can't ignore you. Catherine didn't get respect handed to her. She earned it through brilliance, consistency, and attention to detail. She said, we will always have STEM with us. Some things will drop out of the public eye and go away, but there will always be science, engineering, and technology. She knew the world was watching the rocket, but she made sure it landed. Whatever your gift is, math, writing, speaking, teaching, master it. Get so good, so sharp, that even those who doubt you have to listen. 2. Speak up, with strength and humility. Catherine didn't let her job title define her voice. When she had a correction, she spoke. When she had an idea, she shared it. Not with arrogance, but with clarity and confidence. She didn't demand attention, she commanded respect. In meetings where women weren't expected to talk, she asked questions no one else had the courage or intelligence to ask. If you know the truth, don't hide it. Step up, contribute, lead. 3. Work harder than anyone, then keep going. Catherine never stopped learning, never stopped pushing. She kept asking questions, kept sharpening her craft, and kept delivering results. She worked at NASA for over three decades. She raised a family, she mentored others, she didn't coast on her accomplishments, she stayed in the mission. Don't stop growing. Keep pushing boundaries, even when no one's watching. Greatness is not one moment, it's a lifetime of commitment. 4. Break barriers by rising above them. Catherine faced injustice every day. Separate bathrooms, closed doors, limited opportunities but she didn't let it make her small. She rose above it, not by yelling, but by outperforming. She showed that quiet power can be world-changing, that dignity can be louder than defiance, and that you don't have to tear others down to rise. You rise by being excellent, and then you open the door behind you for others to walk through. Why this matters today. Katherine Johnson's story was almost forgotten, but that's what makes it matter more. She reminds us that history isn't just made by those in the spotlight, but by those who do the work, master their craft, and lift others up in the process. We live in a time when many chase recognition, but Catherine chased truth. She chased precision. She chased greatness that didn't need applause. If she could rise from the shadows of segregation to help send mankind into space, what can you do with the gifts in your hands? 
learn deeply, lead quietly, work faithfully. And when your time comes to deliver, be the one they turn to. Be like Katherine Johnson.